thought he had fires the other side up too sometimes. And But I, I think Gurdjieff has been around enough to make sure they just don't get a bit too complacent and oh, I don't think it'll worry them too much. Well, it's a long time coming for them, but they've, uh, they're have they making up for lost ground, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You fell over the year, like... Werribee Centrals, for example. Yeah, Bannockburn, they, they, Thompson. Thompson. They, they all, <laughs> Look they at all us. They're there. Oh, Thompson, you know, first time last year for 16 years they had been in the finals. Like, that's an amazing effort to yeah. be as well. Yeah, premiership flag. And, and uh, how, how interesting, Grubby, after you've unfurled the flag. And they... Firm opening round of the GDFL season for 2012. Bell Post Hill and Werribee Centrals. And it's going to be Symes and Lovell. And Lovell gets it down beautifully through the middle. That's a fantastic tap. And he gets it away to Chug. Goes long from, from uh, centre-half forward. Long for goals. Close to it. Brad Martin gets back there. He just picks it up at the last line of defence. They'd all pushed up the uh, Werribee Centrals forwards. Went over their head and Bell Post Tool were able to get back in time. In fact, that was... Uh, Kutsamanis who got it from the middle. Yeah, that was a great ruck work from Lovell. Uh, once again, Bell Post Hill. A little chip kick across the uh, goal face. And this is what they did last year to win their premiership. They get it over the top to Addy, who runs towards defensive 50. Backs himself, gives it away to Martin by hand. Back to Addy, got half a handball, then got it back to Martin. Chipped kick into the middle to Fletcher. He just holds it up. Just on the defensive side of the centre circle for Bell Post Hill. He's got Lima laterally in the middle. He's also got, uh, coming through was, I think that was Addy. I'm just having a look Fantella. now. That's yeah. Fantella it is. So, Ad, Addy's run very, very hard in the back half, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. He's short little kick to Fletcher again on centre wing. Now they run. They wheel and go with his left foot and goes long towards full forward. But they're going to be able to chop it off. Braden Smith read it the better for Werribee. He's going to be able to switch the play to the outer side. Half forward, uh, half back flank to Leach. He can kick the footy. Goes now towards centre half forward. Oh. Great kick too. And bell post till it all moved up. And they were able to get behind it there. Taking the mark is Bridey. Goes towards the lead. Out the top. Can't take the mark. Over the back. Rosenwig close to the uh, behind post. And he in fact, sees it over left foot. OK, the ball bound, boundary throw in. Side the behind post here at Myers Reserve. Tap away for Bell Post Hill. Running onto the ground. Dispossessed quickly. There's a lot of uh, pressure in close there. A lot of tackling. Now the ball comes clear. Who can get to the ball? Werribee Central's uh, pace to the footy. Very good so far in this game. As they uh, flick the handball out. Take oh, it right. by bed. A throw is uh, deemed by the umpire. And uh, it's gone back to Martin, who's uh, got the free kick. So Bell Post till now, middle of the ground. On his own there is Symes, takes the mark unattended. And uh, right almost in the centre circle. As they do, waiting for players to uh, make position. Decides to go across the ground, back to Martin, who's run forward. They haven't gained anything so far, but this is their style grubby, isn't it? They just retain possession, retain possession. It certainly is. And the possession uh, there you can give. Yeah, and... Uh, result where the other side, there's a whistle on the play. Where's that going to go this time? Free kick Werribee. Interference going for the mark and uh, Werribee in possession at centre half back. Come towards centre wing, out there in good position. Toby Bray can't take the mark. He's got two against him. Umpire said infringement. So uh, Toby Bray will get the free kick for Werribee Centrals. True centre wing on the western side of the Myers Reserve. Nice little chip pass, looking for Leach. Runs onto the footy. He grabbed it first, telling him he was away, but he can't control it. Takes it all the way towards the southern end in the first term. Boundary umpire. We'll throw the ball back in. Symes starts behind, then comes forward. Short boundary throw in. Punched away by Morland in the front. Through the middle, bell post till Page. Wrapped up by a couple. Umpire says. He has gives it away to Chug. Blind turns. Gives it back. Off a standing start. Knight from centre wing. High towards uh, full forward. Rosenwig comes out. Great pick up on a big man. Wheels around on the left. 45 out. Left foot kick towards the goal. Cross the face and through. 4-1 behind the first score of the afternoon. Craig Rosenwig with a behind. And For bell post till. Pretty much stock standard uh, in the defensive area. Good pass and uh, taken out there by Chris Morland. Halfback flank for Bell Post Hill. Morland there. Takes his time. Now chips it along the boundary lines. A good looking lead. That uh, was Fursland, I think. Dropped the mark, unfortunately. And off hands, it's over the boundary line between the halfback flank, centre wing. This time on the Geelong City side of Myers Reserve. And uh, yes. A fair way across the ground at this hour of the day. Are we going to be at five o'clock? <laughs> That's why I brought the binoculars, mate. <laughs> Symes gets the tap down on that occasion, but Werribee at ground level do well. Goes forward, touched off the boot. Play on, said the umpire. Moreland, again, intercepts the handball. Cleared out of his hands toward the boundary. Out of bounds once again. Symes 
And Blake Pilkinen doing the ruck work. Pilkinen in front, taps it double-handed. And uh, he's got some support, but the Bell Post Hill defence working overtime to get the handball away, and they do through Fletcher, but there was a free kick found. It's going to be a hold, is it? No. I think throw. it's going to be a throw. throw. Yeah, I think he called a throw. And it's going to come back in between... So just running over the 50 metre line now, southern end of the ground comes in, right foot kick, and looks pretty good off the boot. They're pretty happy with it, Werribee Central, so he puts the first major on the board this afternoon. Good player. Back in the middle, ball goes up in the air, up high was the Symes, gets a tap down, but not to advantage, kick off the ground, Werribee Central's quickly to half forward once again, but uh, now the uh, Valpost Hill defence handballing. Trying to get the ball clear, but uh, Ooh, Leach tackled high. very high. Umpire did see it. Yes, free kick Leach for Werribee Centrals. Just forward of the centre circles, middle of the ground. Long kick as normal for uh, Leach, right to full forward with the breeze behind him. It's picked up, uh, that was Rosenwig, was it, in the uh, the pack? Can't get a kick away, unfortunately, and Belpo still prepared to concede a behind on that occasion. One, two... 1-2-8 is uh, Werribee Central. Bell Post Hill yet to score. Seven and a half minutes gone. Oh, I had my head down. What's happened there? Bell Post Hill runner was in the 50 when the uh, when the boy when okay. the uh, fullback was ready to kick out, which is a free kick to Werribee Central's back on the 50. Back on the 50. Line. Yep. All right. So that's it. One two eight. Werribee again with the footy. David Leach has got it. Don't. But don't put your glasses down. Again, Eric, he might kick this. Well, He's a he thumping kick, David Leach. So standing on the centre square line is Chris Moore and David Leach. Now with the right foot kick, keeps it low towards the goal square. Symes goes up, should have taken the mark. Overall in support. Handball over the top to Joel Page. Had it, lost it, needs to pick it up. Does so, then he gets wrapped up, then he loses oh, the football. Umpire it, says, yep, thrown away. And it will be a free kick to Werribee Central's. Keeping good... Uh, Pressure in the forward line. Cornish, front and centre goes towards the lead of Leach. Oh, coming oh. through the middle and taking the mark. Is that Monte Bruno? It is. And he's... Tight Fano. <laughs> so, he comes in now, Monte Bruno. Southern end of the ground. He's a left footer, as Grubby said. He comes in. Lovely kick oh. off the boot. There's no doubt about that straight over the umpire's hat. So his first of the afternoon, second for where for efficiency, not chasing out the forward line. So in the first ten minutes, they've done very well. Where this time, Symes lovely tap down, looking for Page, tackle without the footy, not seen by the umpire. Dives hard at the footy page, but uh, at ground level, it's night for Werribee Central. Gets it back to Leach at half forward. He's been good as he uh, twists, turns, finally gets the right foot towards the. Uh, Half forward flank, Werribee again, attacking the footy well. In fact, their first of the footy all day so far. There's almost a trip to McNichol, not paid. Kick forward from Cornish, goes to full forward. And uh, here's Addy for Bell Post Hill. Now they're away. They've got an opportunity. They've broken it clear. They've got spare man. And uh, out they go towards centre wing. They retain possession. This is where they're breaking down, Grubby. There's no one forward to uh, kick the no, foot off. slipped over. Page... Uh, well, he was a sitting duck, but the, the Werribee player did fall. Now there's a whistle on play, free kick Werribee again. And I guess it's the uh, perennial problem. If you're not first at the footy, there's a chance of uh, giving a free kick away. And that's happened so far. This time it was uh, Kutsamanis for Werribee Central. Long kick. That breeze might have more effect than I thought it would. But uh, Rosenwig, forward pocket, hooks it back towards the top of the goal square. Comes to ground. Off hands, it's gone toward the boundary. And their forward line is just one of those little crummer players they need, Werribee. They've got some tall, tall, tall forwards up there, haven't they? Yeah, and I think they've missed that for the last couple of years. It's a definite deficiency. Rosenwig out of the ruck contest, got the footy, kicked it around the corner, but missed to the near side and through for one. This point for Brent Grigich. No, I, I think he'd be, with the wind that the, I believe that the Belpo Hill blokes have got, I think he'd be thrilled. Lima kicks it in, finds holes fine, with a good place kick, kicks it uh, laterally, it's okay, Addy takes the mark outside, defensive 50, going across, and come back, comes back in board to Popovsky, that's David, still takes the mark inside, defensive 50 for the Panthers. Wants to go to the outer side. Loads up now, goes towards centre wing. Coming at uh, the back was Martinu, but in the front was Patterson. Kicked around the corner, kicked it back 40 metres the wrong way. But he might be OK, Werribee, with the numbers, if they can pick the footy up, though. Bell Post still come in numbers, and they do pretty well to pick it up. Bray puts on a tackle in between wing and half forward on the outer side. Bray breaks free, left foot kick, gets it out of uh, traffic. Goes towards half forward. Addy comes across for the Panthers, though. He's there first. Needs some help. He threw it away. The umpire said, yes, he did. Werribee with the free kick. So left half forward flank on the outer side. 
Might have been a bit stiff, Bell Post. I think, I think the t Toby Brace tackle was a bit high. Goes towards for a oh, good mark, though. In front, Chris Morland does well, takes the mark. Wants to switch the play back in board. Poposki takes the mark again. They can switch again, but he, oh, he thought about going down the line. And again, now he can go short to Urquhart if he has a look the other way, but he doesn't. He just goes high and long out towards half back. Numbers get there. Poposki over the back. That was Nick in the front of the pack. Handball from Holes find. And little slick handball back towards him, close to the boundary line. Falls into his arms again, but he can't take it with him. And Pack develops on centre wing on the outer side. The umpire will come in and ball it up. And restart play. 2-3-15, Werribee. They lead bell post till yet to score. We've been playing 13 and a half minutes in the first quarter. So ball in the air, true centre wing, outer side. Good work again in the ruck there by Morgan in the ruck now, by Grubby. So you're right, looks like they're going to share it. Yeah. And the ball uh, only marginally goes forward for uh, Werribee Central. Gee, I'll tell you what, their attack on the player with the footy has been fantastic. And they've nullified that. The kick out of the pack has gone out of bounds. For GPS too. It wasn't me. <laughs> so, I wasn't driving. So, so <laughs> Lima, Pranata. Lima, long kick towards centre wing. At the back there was uh, not taken. Belpo still unable to... Uh, now they go forward. First time and Page takes a mark. Half forward flank. First time the ball been in that vicinity for the game so far. Lovely low skimming pass, but uh, mark not taken. Chips forward for uh, oh, Belpo still. Player oh, just uh, almost on his own. Basically couldn't take the mark. Ball and ground level. And uh, now we've got a foot race. The ball kicked to open spaces. Half forward flank for Belpo still. They get there first times. Nice little handball, goes across to Pisano, goes to full forward, numbers with great Werribee mark. Centrals, and a great defensive mark for Werribee, that was Braden, uh, Smith. Braden Smith. So uh, away they go now, Werribee, heading to uh, the outer side, long defensive kick towards centre wing, but uh, the only man in possession there is Chris Morland, Morland for Belpo still chips it in board, take, finds Lima. Now they go forward, uh, Belpost, a lovely skimming pass over the head of all players. Now the, uh, the handball comes over the top, looking for basically again, can't control it, out of bounds. Five metres from the behind post at the 16-minute mark of the first quarter, where are we 2-3, Belpost still first opportunity to score. Yep. Uh, in the forward pocket for the Panthers, north end of the ground boundary, throw in. Tar tries to take it from the ruck contest, needs some support. Werribee working overtime in the back. Kutsamanis tried to take it with him, couldn't take it uh, first hand. Now across half forward for Bell Post Hill, fighting hard for it, through the middle holes fine, tries to pick it up. And Pack develops, umpire lets play go. He might have to come in. He's letting it go. Now he will. Still for and Tar standing there, Simes with a big thump down too. Coming from full forward, trying to tap it on. Bell post till forwards. Couldn't do so effectively. Jones comes across, can't take it with him. Panthers with the numbers. Lewis tried to stand in the tackle. Umpire said it's either, I was going to say, it's either higher holding the ball. He let it go and he's called holding the ball. So Sean Lewis gets up and says, what about my head? Thought he got one on. Yeah, yeah I, thought, I thought he might have too. But uh, they will take the free kick. And this is uh, McGuinness. For Werribee Centrals, lateral kick is okay for the Centurions. They run away and go towards centre wing on a long lead, and it's a good kick too. And finding uh, Brighty coming out. Back end of centre wing, Brighty. And 50. 50. So, Poposki give 60 out from goal. Goes towards a great lead coming out. No mark taken, Monte Bruno off the back of the pack. Martinu got the handball out. Bell post still working. From half back towards centre wing, Lima takes the mark uncontested. Now he drills it towards half forward over the top. And they can pick it up and go now from half forward back towards uh, Tari. Comes out on a lead. Good punch away, Simmons. That's going to be a good battle this afternoon. Back towards half forward for the Panthers. Werribee Central's working overtime again. Running through the middle was Clonan. He goes with a left foot kick towards centre wing. It's OK too. Patterson takes the mark. Wheels around. And wants to go quickly. Oh, sells some candy. Does nicely. Gets around. Right foot kick towards Rosenwick behind. On this occasion, he comes up. He contests. He does well on the ground. He needs some support, though. Addy's there. Handball to nobody in particular. He was lucky in the end. Urquhart was back to help him out. Kick around the corner towards uh, half back. Might be okay. And Fletcher, chip over the top. They're away now. The Panthers, they're out on centre wing. And they can go with a long kick from centre wing towards Tar again. Simmons right next to him. Punch to the front of the pack. Morland was there. Handball might come. It does. It comes back quickly. And uh, that was Lentini. And uh, close to the boundary line again. They get a kick around there. Under pressure, though, all the time. The uh, 
Werribee Central's back line working overtime. Lovell gets a clearing kick. Can Fletcher keep it in? I don't think he can. Deliberate. With Lentini, if he'd have kept going on his left foot straight run into goal, no went back to the right foot because he didn't have one, and now the ball's in the forward pocket for Werribee Central. Yeah. So how the uh, fortunes of the game change. Belpo still now defending seriously in the last line of defence. Urquhart, low skimming kick. Doesn't meet his target, however, luck is a fortune because it fell to the back of the pack to now. Belpo still, can they break it clear this time? They get to centre wing, another chip out wide. They're uh, a lot of stop start and uh, it's probably not working so far. On his own in the middle is Fletcher. The ball's chipped back there. Now uh, looking for the running player. So there they come from behind. Limer is the runner. Runs to centre half forward. Now long kick inside forward. 50. Oh, up high. Mark not taken. Comes to ground. Lentini again. I'd suggest, was it? Uh, yeah. He uh, finally gets the handball out. Now Belpo still the uh, Werribee defence is enormous at the moment. A series of handballs. Hasn't got Belpo still anywhere. Baird doesn't know what to do with it. Now handballs. Finally it comes to McNamara. McNamara. He goes long inside 52, three on one down there again for Werribee and uh, they're defending very, very well. Oh, it's a great tackle, spills the ball to Tarr. He has a pot shot at goal in the goal square numbers again with Werribee Centrals and now they clear it out comfortably. The little chip pass comes to Jones, marks it, plays on quickly. All the play in front of our broadcast position and Nurkut, Nurkut in front, held without the That's footy. No, umpire uh, doesn't see it that way as uh, the ball is uh, in dispute right in front of our broadcast position. Players throwing themselves into the footy. What get the score? Symes goes up, gets it down. Nearly had to do the roving work himself. Didn't Lovell up against Symes. They've had some great battles over the years, these two. Lovell stands his ground. Symes comes from behind. Lovell gets it down, punched on by Fletcher. And as far as Cornish, Candy from Phil Jones got the kick away towards centre half forward. Leach worked for, to the back. Oh, he did well. He he read the ball beautifully with the breeze there, David Leach, and he will shoot the goal from 45 out. And I, don't, I wouldn't be wearing it. He's covered a lot of ground, Martin. And I just don't think he did get back, but I think he was just about stonked when he got back. So Leach now, 45 at 50 out, directly in front. Good kick off the boot, David Leach, and he puts his first on the board this afternoon and. The Centre bounce again, Symes and Lovell, umpire throws the ball in the air. Lovell stands his ground and gets it down. Fletcher off the wing, coming through the middle also. At uh, pace from half forward was Baylor Buckley for Werribee, but the, the clearing kick from Fletcher towards centre half forward. Running back with the fly of the ball was Clonan. Can't take it with him, punched on towards Knight. Getting across there, Martinu for Bell Post Hill. Gets there first, uses his pace, then gets a little shove and kicked it out of bounds. <laughs> I think they've changed the rules for that one, maybe. <laughs> so Bounds is thrown in between wing and half forward on the outer side. Lovell in front, tapped it down again, roved well. They by Popovsky, now holds fine, 55 out, goes towards full forward, over the back, Moreland gets around, left foot kick, and has squeezed it in, I think. Chris Moreland, he's put it through. Competition. Doesn't yeah, do, do any it. harm to have a look. You do it when you're against the wind, mate, not like <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Tap down the middle, went to bed for Bell Post Hill. High kick, doesn't really go anywhere. Ball comes to ground once again. There's some uh, pretty solid physical work in there. Finally comes back to bed again. Now it's a long kick inside 50, up high tar. Can't get it from third man up, but the ball comes to ground. What a contest, certainly. Now it stacks on the mill. A lot of players around the footy. Umpire gives them time. The players, I thought, had got it out. Now they have. No, they haven't. Come on, umpire, blow the whistle. A bit like uh, rugby at the present moment, but sheer strength gets the ball out for Werribee Centrals. And, uh, well, they aren't away because uh, Belpo still have turned it over. Came back to Fletcher on the left foot, but a good saving mark. Last line of defence by... Uh, Jones. Jones it was for Werribee Centrals, and he goes across the face of goal. Now, handball backwards, they retain position and the long kick towards centre wing for Werribee Central. Leach covering an enormous amount of territory. He's on centre wing at the moment, gets a handball to advantage. Now, uh, Werribee Central's have got uh, Kutsamana screaming for the footy in the middle on his own, but it uh, doesn't happen. They go defensive and they go toward the boundary. Comes to ground once again. There's some great physical contests out there. If they keep up this for the whole of four quarters, oh. there'll be some tired blokes at the end of the day. And uh, there is a very good read of the football. Clonan. Clonan. Been four. around a long, long time. And uh, read that very, very well. Stood his ground. Great mark. 26 minutes gone oh. first quarter. Oh. Werribee Central's 3-3. Bell Post still one goal. He called uh, play on the umpire too. And... He wasn't quick enough to play on David Clone in there, and he's turned the footy over. Not sure if he knew the umpire had called play on. The, bloke, the other fellow come from behind him, 
when he's supposed to be, what, five metres away. I think he just didn't realise he was there. I think it's Martinu with it. He goes short, and Pisano's taken the mark in the right forward pocket. Still about 40 metres out from goal. Tough angle, too. Okay, from, made the angle worse. Yeah, well, he's come back in, ball with a good kick to Joel Page, who's opened up the goal line, and will shoot from 50 out directly in front now. So, Joel Page was looking for a, a short little kick. He's got Tar on a short lead, too, if he... Oh. We might get a gauge of what the wind is like. Yeah. If you can kick it from here, then I don't. Then you might be right. The wind might not be a three-goal win. Page gives it everything he's got. Goes pretty close. That's a good kick, I'll and he's put what. it through. I'll tell you what. So Joel Page puts his first on the board. And the final, or well, the siren goes. So back in the middle. 27 and a half minutes gone. Must be uh, reasonably close to quarter time here in their first match of the season, 2012. Ball comes to ground. Neither side with an advantage so far. There is the siren. It is quarter time in our GDFL match of the day. And at quarter time, Werribee Central, three goals, 3-21, lead the home side, Bell Post Hill, two goals straight. Morgan will start in the ruck for Werribee. And Jaden Symes for Bell Post Hill. Level must be off. He's not resting anyway. Yeah, no, I think he's uh, on the bench. So start of the second term, Bell Post Hill with the aid of the breeze. Two straight goals, trailing Werribee, 3-3, 21. Symes gets it down, holds fine, gets the first kick. Vacant centre, four position, Tar comes out, pushes one past, then comes out also at pace was a base lead. They've got the numbers, Bell Post Hill, if they can keep the pressure on. The Werribee defence under pressure. Basley now gets called in to get the footy, but he can't keep it in. And he had Baird in support as well, but the ball went over the boundary line. And we'll have a throw in, about 45 metres around from the... Bell Post Hill goal. Boundary throw in. Morgan in front. Tar pushes him out, then gets wrapped up. Loses the football in the tackle. Fursland handball back. Holes fine. Page went with the left foot. High kick towards full forward. And Pack develops. Good punch away at the back by Knight. Close to the boundary line. Pretty happy to see it over Sean Simmons. And we'll have a boundary throw in again. Still in the right forward pocket for the Panthers. And... Big pack around the play as well. Justin Tarr, Stephen Morgan to do the ruck work. Morgan takes front position. Short boundary throwing should favour him. Double fister. Holes fine though. Roves it nicely. Back front and centre. Does well. Oh, one hand. Was it a hold? No. On Pisce play on. Gets it back. And I think it was a goal anyway. Was it by Baird? Yes. So the umpire for Bell Post till three straight goals, 18. The Panthers, they trail Werribee Central's 3-3-21. Buckley's Entertainment Centre second quarter scoreboard a minute and a half play. Ben, uh, the uh, central umpire throws the ball in the air. Symes goes up, gets it down again. Holes fine. Taken off the football by Kutsamanis, and we'll get a free kick. So David Holes fine in the middle for the Panthers. Goes short. It's okay too. Oh, finds Popovsky. Doesn't take the mark. Should have. Got it back by hand. Maulin off a step to centre half forward. Chips the ball nicely. And Baird takes the mark at true centre half forward. Fursland gives him half a lead. He goes. Latchley, it's a good kick. Symes oh, and yeah. hurt Morgan there. Morgan went deep. Symes stayed up uh, closer to the to the uh, kick and took the mark and will shoot for goal from 40 out. He's not wasting any time. He goes with the right foot kick long to the square. Over the back. Tar got a hand to it. Keeps his feet. Rides the bump. Then he drops the football and should be paid a free kick to work in the right back pocket. Not much to kick to at the moment. He gets a lead now from Kutsamanis. Makes up some ground. Oh, it takes the mark too nicely at the second attempt on hands and knees. So he goes with the right foot kick. Short Ooh. kick. Page chops it off. Takes the mark easily. At half forward. So Bell Post Hill back into attack. That one up forward. Basley's there. Gives him a lead. Not much behind him though. Tar's pretty high. So he's just going to bomb it long towards the top of the square. Gets it there now. Tar in front. Can't take the mark. Second attempt. Still can't. On hands and knees. Gives the don't argue. Kick around the corner. Sloppy Simmons. Gets a clearing kick for the Centurions. Out wide. It's two on one. Morgan's the one for Werribee. Getting across there. Addy at half forward. Can bring it back in. Board. Oh, we thought about down the line. Now he brings it back. He goes long towards the pocket. Might be okay too. Bell post still over the back. They make up some ground though. The uh, Werribee Central's defence. Comes back out towards Morland. Can't pick it up at the first attempt. He gets does pretty well below his knees. Gets the kick around the corner. Back towards Page under pressure. Cornish coming out at Fantella. Free kick for a push, said the umpire. And Joel Page will take the free kick. 45 slide out, that. slight angle. I thought Tar might have got one before that, that, that yeah, contest. He, he, he was well uh, heavily infringed. So Joel Page, who has kicked one goal for Bell Post Hill already this afternoon. 
A chance for his second. Well, Leach did it from further out than that very comfortably, didn't he? Yeah, I don't think you'll have any problems with uh, the distance. Question of accuracy comes in. Looks pretty good off the boot. Goal umpire doesn't move. So Page kicks his second. And a belt. Goals one. So uh, we're underway again. Ball in the middle. As the uh, ball goes forward for uh, Bell Post Hill, dear, they're uh, winning the ball in the middle, Grubby, this quarter, and uh, it doesn't make a difference to the game. There's the ball, uh, there's a whistle on play. Umpire suggested that uh, Travis Fursland was interfered fr from behind. I just get the feeling a couple of these umpires have got different interpretations. This is a different umpire that was in the last contest, and uh, I'm not being uh, tough on them, but they uh, need to be uh, all together. At the same on the same page as the ball gets to uh, half forward for Belpo still Werribee defence now working overtime as uh, stacks on the mill umpire Ooh. said I wondered what he blew the whistle no signification and he's come in to take the ball at true centre half forward for Belpo still they're kicking to the southern end in this uh, second quarter. Symes gets a tap down. A lot of Werribee players around the, the ground tar can't down, been down to pick it up and at ground level Werribee again. Take the this footy. Will be the ball. No, be. ball comes out. That, uh, there's first kick for Phipps, the new coach. Takes it right across the ground. Leading in the race is Fletcher for Bell Postel. Overruns it, however. Now uh, Werribee come back. Uh, oh, he's uh, Ooh, taken he's with the footy. Umpire said, fair enough. As uh, gee, it's hard, it's tough, it's willing. And uh, Bell Postel come clear once again. Page over the top. Now they've got players wide on the wing. Lewis has won. The other one is Pisano. Lewis takes the mark, goes in towards half forward. Not a good kick by him. And uh, Werribee Central through Phipps. Handball to uh, Cornish. And they're away now at Werribee Central. Towards an half forward in a very open forward line. Leach beaten on that occasion. Martin gets a handball out. Not to advantage, however. And diving on the footy. Leach, it's underneath him. Umpire says play on. Geez, pulled it back in. Umpire, I think. Oh, up. underneath him. Oh, he most definitely pulled it in the first time. It might have bounced back off someone's knee the second time, I think. Simon yeah, in the ruck contest goes towards... Well, he's opposite number, Lovell, who took it. So Lovell takes it now. Goes back towards the middle. Lead on from Brighty. Can't take the mark. Probably should have in the end. And it's two on two. Oh, throw from Popovsky. Might get it back. Falls over. Then he throws it again. Out there. Okay. Holes fine. Gave the shepherd to Lewis. Got the kick away. Not good off the boot, though. And they might be able to wear his centrals. Go back to centre wing. Jones takes the mark. And we'll be able to... Deliver the ball to half forward. Leads on by Leach. Got a couple against him. Getting back there was Martin. Lima had it, lost it. Leach over the top of it. Does well. Needs some support. Then got a high tackle. Put the head over the ball. David Leach. Mate, and Brad Martin. And too. Brad Martin's not too happy. <laughs> okay. He wants to go long. Towards the top of the square. Rosenweig go, comes out. The big fella puts Ooh, the hands up. Mark. Takes the mark. 40 out from goal directly in front. Well, I was just going to say the first major on the board. Comes in now. Right foot kick, I think it's moved away and has missed, so oh, three bad, behinds. Bad miss. Most of the play with Bell Post Hill, they haven't really uh, hurt Werribee, but they are still in front. There's Lima, considering where he's going to go. The lead has come from Symes, very, very wide on the uh, western side of the ground. Ball comes off hands to the ground. Good tackling again by Werribee. Umpire gives them the uh, Bell Post Hill a benefit that. Oh, there's a pinpoint pass to Fletcher, middle of the ground here at Bell Post Hill. Nobody on the mark, so Fletcher decides to go. Chips the left foot, I don't know where to. Tar can't bend down to get the footy. At ground level, Page gets a handball looking for Lewis. He gets it, goes out wider to Pisano. Pisano, a pinpoint pass. This time gets Page, who's run very, very well there. Page gave the handball initially, then uh, took the mark. Well, now goes 50. to uh, centre. Umpire, no, he's uh, allowed play to continue. Oh, picked up. Uh, that was one of... Uh, basically. Oh, it was basically in the forward half there. Tackled. Ball spills clear. Now Moreland, what can he do? He eludes a tackle, hooks it around the body. <laughs> That's the first scoreboard as we tick past 10 minutes. David Holsheim wasn't too happy. He had to stand in the goal square with his hands in the air saying, give it to me, give it to me. 
But yeah. uh, I don't but, think you can come from that position and jump on the mark that late. I think that might have been, well have been 50. Knight kicks in for Werribee. Goes to the outer side. Go Phipps in front of Fletcher on hands and knees now. Punches it back 20 metres. Braden Smith. We ran over the top of it. Going to be under pressure. Gets around. Right foot kick around the corner towards half back. But uh, Fursley in front. Should have taken the mark. Couldn't. Needs some support. Comes back and uh, pushes his Werribee uh, opponent in the back. No. Lovell. Gets the tap away, and good a good tap too, because Kutsumanis runs through centre wing, comes back towards Leach over his head. Staged. But uh, Bell Post Hill with the numbers. Lima, handball, and Martin tried the, the bump and lost the, left the footy behind. The, the umpire's found it in the back for uh, Bell Post Hill. Is it? No, he's no, no, pointed the wrong no, no, way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so the kick's going to come in towards uh, full forward for Montebruno. Did he get one high? Yes, he is. And Montebruno. You love saying that. Beautiful. <laughs> what a great name. Wiggly's like brother it's plays. Like Both a, of them are there. It's like a Hollywood. <laughs> like a Hollywood actor. Tyrone Montebruno comes in. 35 out. Left foot kick. And the umpire says he's missed it and threw for Ruby Central. Spell post till 4 1 25. Buckley's Entertainment Centre, second quarter scoreboard. 12 minutes played. So Lima taking the uh, short kick in. They've got uh, still inside defensive 50. The bell post still sides, holds fine, takes the mark now, outside defensive 50, goes to the uh, the city side, another little chip. Now they're getting back to uh, more like their uh, standard of play, bell post still. Their uh, control is much better. Now the uh, player is called to play on, and uh, that's where they come undone. Lack of concentration. Called to play on Limer, and uh, the kick spoiled off the oh, boot. Pushed Rosen, uh, Rosenwig, uh, enormous pressure Great ball play. into the goal square. Pushed forward, and uh, Montenegro, Montebruno. The, the fullback, a little bit of a push very early in the piece. You've got to give the defenders half a chance. Once they're through there, they should pick him up, shouldn't they? Yes, I think that should have been picked up. And he goes up and gets the tap down, replacing Symes in the middle. Kutsamanis gets it towards uh, centre-half forward. Bridie holds his ground, doesn't take the mark, though. McNamara clearing kick for Bell Post Hill out to the outer side. And it's the Commodore. So boundary throwing in between wing and half forward on the outer side, where he just into attack. Attacking the northern end here at Myers Reserve in the second term. Boundary throw in over the back of the pack. Martinu can't take it the uh, ball effectively. Big pack around it through the middle though. Do dodging beautifully. Kutsamanis gets it long towards uh, coming out from full back. Is overall read it the better from Rosenwig. They want to switch the play back towards uh, full back towards Lima. Takes the mark in the back pocket. Now he's got Sean Lewis breaking for him. He's also got uh, Morland at half back by himself. Uh, in fact, it's Bo McNamara. Has he seen him? Well, not now, he hasn't. He has to go down the line. Tough kick over the head of Phil Jones. Getting back there is Phipps, the coach for Werribee. Kicks it around the corner. Back to whence it came. Getting back there off hands at the back, Popovsky. Uh, ball in dispute. Coming through the middle there was Clonan. Can't take it for Werribee Centrals. Pack develops close to the boundary line. Sean Lewis puts the tackle on. The umpire will come in. And ball it up. Pretty close to the boundary line. In between half forward and the forward pocket, Werribee into attack. And umpire throws the ball up. Jones to go up. Uncontested. Gets it down oh, to Kutsamanis. Great, great roving. Left foot kick around the corner. And back towards the teeth. The goal punched away. Can they keep it in? No, uh, the umpire said. Goal umpire was right there. And it will be a boundary throw in Pilkington. That was for Werribee. Hands the ball back to the boundary umpire. Right next to the behind post. Left forward pocket for Werribee. Ruck contest. Popovsky. Pat Pilkington gets it down. Through the middle. Werribee. But uh, Bell Post will break free. Moreland goes long and wide looking for Fletcher. Getting up there. Oh, was that a hold? Uh, could have been against uh, Fletcher on Clonan. Kick around the corner by Lewis. Addy's there. No talking. He and Pisano and can't keep it in. And we'll have about playing 16 minutes in the second term. So ball in. Uh, Addy beaten on that occasion by uh, his counterpart Lovell. Ball to centre half forward for Belmont, uh, for uh, Werribee Centrals. Uh, Belpo still under real pressure here. As the ball back middle of the ground, once again, Mark dropped, tap forward by Baird. That's a good bit of play. Over the top, running player for Belpo still is Fantella. Goes towards half forward, Tar. First mark for the day, I'd suggest. The man on the mark is on 50. Tar now decides to play on quickly. Now 50. the umpire has uh, blown the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Tar now. 
over the goal umpires. That's his first goal for the day for Belpost Tool. Lovell and Addy. Lovell goes up early, gets it down through the middle. Bray on the move. Can't pick it up the first time. Second time he just toe pokes it. Gains 25 metres. Getting across there and doing well. Running through his Patterson. Goes the right foot kick. Goal. Pretty Jeez. good. Good bit of play. Good bit of play by Werribee Central. And a very, very quick reply. Straight out of the middle from Lovell. and Advantage. Yeah. So, yeah. Both attacking moves. Let's see how they go. So back in the middle. Umpire with the footy again. Same two combatants. Addy and uh, Lovell. 50-50 on that occasion. Comes to ground level. That's where Addy's good because he followed up. Now a long kick has got the ball at full forward. Almost a mark there to Basley. Can't the game is who gets the ball out of the middle. Yep, so the ball now, adjacent to the behind post. Deep in the forward pocket for Bell Post Hill. Kicking to the southern end. Low throw in, whistle on play. Umpire oh. signifying a matter of seconds. So uh, midway through the second quarter here at Myers Reserve. Moving in, Justin Tarr. Oh, he's Ooh, missed I it. didn't like the look of that kick at all. And uh, Lovell certainly letting him know what it's all about. <laughs> and uh, 5.35, Buckley's Entertainment second quarter scoreboard past 20 minutes. Knight looks for Lovell, goes up, oh, gets a... Kick. Yeah, should be a free kick for... A push. Oh, and 50 on mm. here. <laughs> oh, he chips the ball to Kutsamana, sets him a task, and uh, he's not up to it because Lentini chopped it off. So at half forward now, Lentini wobbling punt kick towards the top of the square. Coming out though, Werribee under pressure, needs some support. Well post still fighting hard for it. Through the middle, Basley, left foot kick around the corner, has missed to the far side and through for one. Centre second quarter scoreboard, 21 minutes played. Doesn't matter how good your skills are, if you're a big bloke, kick it long. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they uh, get out of their league occasionally, don't they? Well, uh, Phipps, was it? No, Knight. Oh, think, Knight uh, did, did he kicked... touch it to his boot or yeah, drop it? Yeah, no, he, he touched it to the boot. Oh. I certainly didn't drop it. But uh, from the kick in, it's outside 50. But uh, Belpo still are working much harder in this quarter in the forward half as the ball is well inside their forward 50 again. Fletcher can't pick it up. Can't bend down either ball uh, under a stack of players there. Umpires are certainly giving them the opportunity to get it out. And when it does come out, uh, it's thrown out for Bell Post Hill. It's gone to Pisano. Long kick towards full oh, four. Oh, two no. Werribee players uh, spoilt one another almost in the goal square. And now uh, the ball picked up by... That looked a bit Fursland. like Trav Fursland to me. The great opportunist. And... Uh, as you say, probably cost them a goal. Well, I think they did talk. They both said yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the middle, Addy, and Jones. Jones gets it down. Kutsamanis leaves it behind through the middle. Oh, that was a throw. Oh, the up by set play. I didn't see it. Fletcher gets the clearing kick for Bell Post Hill towards Fursland again. Punched away at half at half forward. Werribee with the numbers trying to break free. They can't do so. Clonin's there. And a scrap just on 50. The umpire will come in and ball it up. So the Panthers into attack again. I think they've suddenly realised the game of footy's on. There's a bit of feeling now in it. There is. They've woken up. Addy, Jones, they go up. Both get a hand to it. Push to the back page. Back to the, towards the middle. Now the numbers with uh, Werribee Pilkington gets it out towards Bray. Running free. Patterson gives him a shepherd. He goes. He runs his full Long distance. Way. And he goes forward to looking for Lovell, who's resting. Rosenwig front and centre. Good kick. Good play, Craig Rosenwig. And kicks his first. And commentators <laughs> doing what refreshments we have at half time, boys. <laughs> Jeez. Back in the middle, 24 and a half minutes gone in this second quarter. The ball goes up. This time it's Bell Post Hill down Can't to do uh, that. Uh, lovely tap down to Holes Fine. One kick, it's at full forward. Almost a big mark. Well, the umpire, what did he pay? Uh, no, he can't do that, um. It's, it's holding the ball. Now, what he's is paid what? advantage and then he stopped it. Once he's paid advantage, it is advantage. He paid half advantage. Well, wow. <laughs> he thought about it. Yeah, the interesting part that uh, advantage, whether it was a free kick or a mark that he paid, but the ball in free the kick. interim mm. has gone to uh, out of centre wing, comes to ground. Good teamwork, Bell Poster. A little chip ball. Oh, it's too long. Back in the middle of the ground. Handball to Lewis, another handball to Lantini. Oh, uh, Fantella was looking for the footy, but a shocking hand pass on that occasion. Turned it over, and we're back at centre-half forward for Werribee Centrals. At ground level, Moreland can't pick the footy up. He's under pressure, takes it, gets tackled, gets a handball away. Lima, handball away. As, uh, oh, oh, great tackle there by Moreland. And uh, now the umpire's 
lost a bit of control here. I reckon Belpo still decided to take the advantage. The umpire didn't see it. And uh, now we've got a bit of a fracas, but the uh, ball goes back to Moreland. Free kick, Belpo still goes out wide looking for. Should have found Page. Dropped the mark when he should have taken. Now he uh, comes again, picks it up on the left foot towards half forward flank. The game very... Oh, oh almost a miraculous mark by uh, Tar. Can't bring it down, however. The ball in dispute, very close to the boundary line. Players diving on it, and the umpire, what will he do? 6-5, lead 6 Three, Werribee in command. Phil Jones got it down, but uh, only as far as the boundary line. So uh, he and Jaden Symes just back on the ground. We'll do the ruck work. 50 out from goal. Bell post still into attack. Chance for a late goal. Close to siren time for the main break here at Myers Reserve. Boundary umpire throws it in. Jones in the end tapped down at the front by Symes. Clearing kick back towards a one-on-one -on -one base leap. Waited for it from behind. In front was McGuinness. Close to the boundary line again. Boundary umpire with a bit more work to do. And out of bounds once again. This time working against Tar. Tar gets it down. Quick kick from the pack. Basely again. And McGuinness. McGuinness close to the boundary line. I think he'd be happy to see it over. He's on hands and knees. It's pretty close. He's going to get wrapped up now. And still close to the boundary line. Still in play, said the umpire. Comes back towards Page. Now it's not. It's out of bounds. Symes, third in line, gets it down. Punch Ooh. down towards the... Uh, high tackle. Yeah, high tackle in bed. <laughs> now the umpire will... Tar can get his hands on or Symes comes up. Third man, they go up Pilgrim, gets it down. Moreland is that, at that side and he wheels around close to the boundary line. Left foot kick back towards the top of the square. Basely holds his ground, oh, takes a good wrong. mark and will shoot for goal from 38 directly in front. Where would be play after? Nelly for the 50. Yeah. Yeah. Basley it was. Grab. Used the body nicely and took the grab overhead. Caleb Basley comes in. Right foot kick, straight through the middle. So his first of the afternoon. They take the lead again. Bell post tilt. Good Stoyas out there to give him a bit of a hurry up like he did to you amateurs in 85, Eric. Oh, <laughs> them were the days. In the middle, ball comes to ground from the tap down as uh, players throwing themselves in willy-nilly and uh, you would think there'll be some tired players, not only at half, but a huge number of players around the ball up. As Symes probably got the better of it, went to Lewis, can't control it. He goes to ground. Moreland, tackle without it. Hell's fine in there under the pack. Ooh, I would. As the ball goes in the air once again. 50-50 the two Ruckman on that occasion. Ball comes down to Chug. Turns quickly, tries to uh, kick towards half forward. At ground level, McNamara. He's got two to beat. Does uh, reasonably well. Ball thrown out for uh, Werribee. As uh, ball check side towards full forward. Oh, good position. Is that... Uh, Double. Well, that's meters out directly in front. Should give Werribee Central's back the lead. And I haven't kept a tab of, in this quarter the number of times the lead has changed, but that is another one because Nathan Lovell's kicked his... Pye throws the ball up. Jones gets it down. Might get a second effort out too. Over the head of Pilkington. Bray runs onto it. Gets a kick towards centre-half forward. Coming out Popovsky. And there is the siren for half-time. And it is Werribee Central's 7-5-47. They lead Bell Post Hill 7-3-45 in that term. Five goals, three to Bell Post Hill. Four goals, two to Werribee. That's a two-point difference at the main change. Term 7-5-47, Werribee Central's Bell Post Hill 7-3-45. It'll be Symes and Lovell. Both go up and Symes gets it down. Runs through the legs of Chug. Coming off the half-forward flank was Popovsky. Couldn't take it with him. In fact, it was Pisano. Now Kutsamanis, the man we were just talking about. He's got five metres on Urquhart as well, but he can't pick it up. And Urquhart bears down on him and does pretty well. Kutsamanis kicks it off the ground and kicks it out of bounds across the half-forward flank. And it In round one of the year, the skills have been yeah. quite reasonable, but they start to fade <laughs> they might, a bit. <laughs> they might go backwards here in the third term. Boundary throw in. From the side, Symes gets it down. Rove by Fantella, gets the handball away quickly. McNamara gets it out wide. Over the head of Addy, comes out. Can't take it with him was Braden Smith. Bell Post Hill had the numbers, but Smith recovered. Oh. His kick was smothered, though, beautifully by David Holzfein. And he sees it over the boundary line for a throw. And this time, right half-forward flank. On the other side, Bell Post Hill into attack. Moved it along the wing position. Now at half-forward, so boundary throw in. Lovell and Symes to... Perform the ruck contest. Lovell in front. Symes 
Working left, then working right. Lovell gets it down. Bell post two with the numbers. Pisano picked it up. Got the handball away under pressure. Short little kick. Sean Lewis to run onto it. Can't take it with him. No. Braden Smith wrapped up by Lewis. Dropped, dumped into the ground. Ruby 7 5 47. Early stage of the third term. And it will be Symes and Lovell again. Lovell stands his ground. Symes this time gets in the way. Gets in front. 30 metre punch. Back towards the goal. Smith happy to see it over. But uh, does he? He can't. Addy kick over the head towards full forward. Off hands. And this time out of bounds. The opposite. The date beginning to the third quarter. Both sides uh, very intent on uh, getting the first score. And the ball's deep in the forward line for Belpas still from the throw in. Came to the back of the pack. Handball goes... It comes back to Baird. Baird goes the pot shot round the corner and has missed. So one goal, one off the boot of Anthony Baird. Brings the game back to one point. Seven goals, four, 46. Bell Post till 7, 5, 47. Werribee Centrals to Grandy Cycle and Sport. Second quarter as we... Uh, I've unravelled the Braden Montebruno ah, saga. Where's he? He's under suspension. Ah, there you go. Ah, well, there you go. So uh, the ball now kicked in, long kick from Werribee Central, back to centre wing. Addy, back to the corridor, Symes lurking there on his own, nobody uh, about, takes the mark. What will he do? Not too sure. Well, the umpire must have called play on because the player ran straight at him and uh, that was the case. And the ball goes out wide. Uh, Belpo still controlling it again. Symes almost can get it back. And uh mm -hmm. long. Absolutely. Uh, on his own, Werribee in defence there. No problem at all. And uh, it's kick to kick at the moment as the ball comes back to centre wing. Big uh, crash there of players. Diving on it, bell post still players. Can't get it out. There's uh, all the hands and knees. It's uh, Martin well up to ground. To Page, looking for some assistance. Gets in the, in the shape of Lima from defence. And he chips it out wide towards centre wing. It's a really... Nothing quarter so far as uh, Belpo still chip it again. Fletcher takes the mark on the left foot now. And that's a lovely position kick. McNamara has come up to ground into the forward half. He chips to the lead there of Tarr. Doesn't quite reach him. Tarr can't get to the footy. Now tries to use his strength and uh, should be holding the ball surely. Well, have to be. And the umpire has uh, agreed. Werribee Central's got the loose player on centre wing. Monta... Monta Bruno takes the mark. Now on the left foot, long towards and half forward. The uh, contest one on one there comes to Grant. Oh, Rosen, Rosen, we copped the elbow from his teammate. It, it was a friendly fire on that occasion. I uh, don't know how friendly it was. Well, I don't know how the other fella is, but uh, Rosen wigs. <laughs> Six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Up high, Symes gets the tap down towards centre wing. The. Uh, ball, uh, well it stacks on the mill here, the umpire will have to call for it which he does, and uh, just the forward of centre wing for Werribee Centrals now, we've been going five minutes in the uh, third quarter, only behind, added to the score for Belpo, still 7-4, trail Werribee 7-5. Jones from the ruck contest, gets it towards Leach Limer against him, coming across the back of the pack and being able to uh, mop it up is Popovsky. Goes wide to Fantella. In front of Patterson. Will it sit for him? Yes. Back into centre wing. Kick around the corner. Short little kick. Gains 20 metres. Uh, but in front. And doing pretty well there. Getting the uh, handball away was Clonan. Through to Patterson again. Goes with a right foot kick. Long towards Montebruno. The two number 18s. Nick Popovsky gets across there as well. And there's four or five behind and four or five in front. It's as if they're playing with 22 <laughs> men on the ground sometimes, isn't it? Symes gets it down to the side of the pack. Page. McNamara in there in support. Does well. Breaks free. Still inside defensive 50. Needs to get rid of it now. Does with a right foot kick. Lovell, though, stands his ground. From behind, Addy did pretty well. Punched it away. Good defensive play. And Addy did pretty well to uh, see it over the line. Get some reinforcements there for the ruck contest. Boundary throw in. Lovell. Symes. Lovell with a kick out of the contest. Bell post two with the numbers, as Grubby said, around the ball again. Holspine just on the ground. Handball was to no one. In fact, he dropped it to the umpire. Advantage paid. They break free. Where he been? Go towards centre half forward. There's the numbers again. No two on one. Getting across there. Katsamanis went one handed. Can't pick it up. Through the middle. Handball back towards him. The little man. Little bit of candy. Right foot kick towards uh, Rosenwig and the goal square. But it's uh, offline and out of bounds on the full. Get my mouth around it. Popovsky is sitting on the uh, flank on his own now. He chips it inboard. Taken by Lima. They've gone no distance, however. Bell Post Hill. Fantella on his own. Ball goes there. This is uh, much better control by uh, Bell Post Hill. Come inboard again to Baird. 
Now they go towards the boundary. This time it's Popovsky, Popovsky again. Now they uh, are almost at centre wing, uh, but it's very, very slow progress. Chip inboard once again. Baird again. Now, which way will he go? He's decided he's going to play on, so he's going to have to do something with it. Goes towards uh, half forward at ground level, picked up by Fletcher, towards full forward. The uh, defence leading in the race for the footy. Werribee did well there. And the ball all of a sudden is now back almost to sit half forward for Werribee, attacking the football. And that occasion was Monte Bruno. He uh, comes towards the full oh. forward area. Nobody back there for Werribee. Popovsky takes the mark. Brad Martin, he's got on his own, well clear of any other player. He's got the Holzfein leads for him, honours the lead, and, and uh, Holzfein takes the mark, half-back flank. Now chips it inboard, Lewis on his own. I just sense the grubby, some of the defence of Werribee, they're not quite one-on-one -on -one at the moment, and uh, Belpo still uh, basically allowed to control the footy. Now they switch the play, right across the ground. Martin across to... Uh, Finally, it's uh, Fantella that's got it on centre wing. Now the long kick in forward. Page has made great position and a great kick finds him marking the ball on his chest. He's inside forward 50, chips it over the top looking for Fletcher. It mystifies me why they go that wide though. He's almost on the boundary now. And I uh, see Fursland running into the gap in front of full forward. Apart from that, it's a big packet full forward and uh, they're suggesting that... Uh, the shot will be taken from right on the boundary line. Take a very good kick from there, if anything, into whatever bruise there is. And Trav Fursland, he kept running, kept running, and finally has the pass given to him. He goes long towards the goal square. Numbers with uh, Werribee Central's back there. Moreland came late, can't take the mark, and the ball comes to ground. Oh, oh that's no. an atrocious kick, but... Uh, Stayed in, is it? Well, the boundary up Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> then he tried to take the mark, nearly, I think, the umpy. So, short kick from Holzfein, finds Anthony Baird. So, Baird now on the boundary line, right foot kick to the 10 metre square. Pack develops, off hands at the back. McGuinness wrapped up, going nowhere there. Bell post two of the numbers, need to get the handball free. No, he doesn't, kicks it, there kicks the goal. And is that, uh, I think that was Bo McNamara, was it? No, it was Caleb Basley. Else in a tight situation. So back to the middle, Symes gets it down, handball at the top, Page to holes fine, goes forward again towards Tar in front. Hey, Addy takes the mark. 45 out from goal. So once again, we see a centre clearance and a shot for goal. A good kick from there, wouldn't it? Yep, it would be. It's tough, tough at the northern end with the breeze going across the ground. And really needs to keep it low as he kicks it. If he puts it up into the breeze, it's going to hold up and move to the right-hand side. So Addy comes in and has pushed it to the near side, would you believe? So it hasn't come back at all. He wanted it to come. Andy Sport, third quarter scoreboard, 12 minutes played. So the ball about to come back into play. And uh, the momentum of the game has uh, changed. It's... Uh, a lot more stop start in this quarter, which indicates players are getting tired, but the kick-in was a lovely long kick. Middle of the ground, Moreland on his own, eludes a tackle on that occasion, gets uh, settled, and a beautiful pass finds uh, Page coming forward, inside forward 50. Page now, a low skimming Good kick. kick. And uh, in front was, well, <laughs> now on that occasion, uh, is he going to pay advantage, oh, or it yeah. was kick the goal? And... Uh, that was an interesting one because uh, he paid the free kick, then paid advantage. However, it goes on the scoreboard to Belpost still. That isn't quite as tight. So in the middle, ball comes down once again. Holes find again. Gets the ball at ground level. Dropped it. Not so by the umpire. And uh, he's in, f diving for it once again. It's pretty scrappy, scrubby football at the moment, the umpire. Oh! oh! Who did he pay that against? <laughs> the guy going for the footy, Holes Oh, fine. it's the only bloke who <laughs> wanted it. And... Uh, no chance in the world of doing anything. So, chug the free kick, goes across the ground. That's a terrible kick on Nadeko Werribee. They get to a half forward through Bryarty. Goes further forward to full forward. Ball thrown away there by... Uh, was oh, it fifth? Where's the hold? <laughs> so, uh, good work there. Popovsky kicked it off to position. 14 and a half minutes gone, third quarter. 9-5, leads 7-5. Probably the biggest break in the game for quite a long time with Belpost still now back in uh, control. 
The handball comes in board. Now the ball's deep in the forward line. Player held without the footy. I think the umpire had the whistle almost Ooh. in the mouth, actually. I look straight past the inside. Grubby, I think they desperately want one here. Well, they do want one here, and, and, and just on the umpires, they haven't really paid that all day, so that's consistent, yes. that's fine, that's Good fine. Point. Ball comes in board uh, from the boundary umpires. Bell post till, prepared to concede a behind, and that is uh, seven goals, 6 48, Werribee Centrals. 9 5 59, Bell post till, DeGrandy Cyclone Sports, third quarter scoreboard, 15 minutes gone. Lima gets it into holes fine, handballed it, had to get it back himself. He handballed it away to McNamara. He lost it again, still across defensive 50. Handballed to Martin, they're running next to each other. Through the middle, Sean Lewis, kick off the side of the boot though. Phipps takes the mark on centre wing. Don't see that often. The Centurions goes towards uh, half forward, over the back. Lima needs to keep his feet, needs some support now. Got it, handball slicked out towards Martin, handball back in board. Needs some help from Lima again. Bell post still under attack. Now McNamara, defensive 50. Wobbly punt kick towards centre wing might be okay. And taking the mark is Addy for Bell post. He's got Symes in board. Morgan chops off that one though. Holes fine short. He goes longer now. Up the, up the line towards half forward. Running onto oh, it. Good well kick done. too and a good, good play by Morland who ran a fair way to take the mark. Right half forward flank for the Panthers. Not much to kick to. Tars off the ground at the moment, so some smaller options. Popovsky's one of them. Needs to uh, pick it up. Can't do so. Werribee with the numbers across half back. Handball to Bray. Off a standing start to nobody in particular. Towards uh, centre half, uh, towards centre wing. Pilkington handball it away quickly to Bridie. Handball though was chopped off. Under pressure. He has to go back and get his own football. Needs some support. Addy's over the top of it as well. Handball to Pilkington. Handballed it to himself in front. Can he keep going though? He needs to pick it up and he does now. Gets around a couple. Lewis wraps him up. Katsamanis is back there as well. Bell, Bell post till they got the extra man back there. Urquhart goes out wide, but uh, taking the mark is Morgan for Werribee Central. Uh, in fact, it's Bridie for Werribee Centrals on centre wing. Draws it back towards oh. Morgan, and Lux of Fortune, the big fellow, is standing there and took the mark. Wasn't supposed to go there, but he took it, handballed it away to Bray. Runs through the centre, goes to the right foot, kick towards the lead out, and uh, no mark taken by Montebruno. Popovsky kept his feet, left foot kick around the corner. Pisano has to sit and wait, does so. Back end of centre wing, Anthony Pisano just wants to hold it up. He's got Symes, he comes across inboard, and... Just gives it the fan teller, chips it over the top, holds fine, can get it out board. Does so now and does nicely. Gives it away. Brad Martin, the skipper, 30 metres out, and he doesn't kick too many. And he hasn't still kicked doesn't. it. And he still doesn't because he's missed. And there's uh, numbers there for Werribee Centrals, but Bell Post still through work it, score it back. Now holds fine on his own, middle of the ground, takes the mark. A long driving kick into the full forward position. The, as we say, tar off the ground. They haven't got a target there, Bell Post still, and uh, away it comes back again from uh, the Werribee Central side. McNamara, long hand, Werribee Central's after the marking contest. Well, what definitely wasn't a mark. And uh, I think uh, landed on top of him and uh, paid in the back. But it appeared to me. A long kick now towards McNamara. Good spoil from the uh, back by him, the defender. Good defensive work. Now it's uh, pretty scrappy. Half forward flank for uh, the Bell Post Hill side. Bit of strength from the Werribee defence. And now they break clear. The kick towards half forward Leach. One out against two. Numbers with uh, Bell Post Hill. Uh, Urquhart can't win the footy. Uh, comes out by hand to Fletcher. Fletcher now out wide to Urquhart again with the handball. Now a much better control kick. Finds uh, Holes fine. Holes fine. Chips it inboard. Martin. Don't know where he's playing at the moment. He's almost a centre forward at the present moment. And what a. Symes goes up, gets it down. Pisano. Handball came out further afield. Now Cornish on the ball. Got it forward. And Britt Bright, he took the mark at centre half forward for Werribee. Be kicking from outside 50. So he's a nice build of a bloke, Grubby. Yeah, yeah. He's in, I watched him in some of the earlier games, and he took some a quite nice mark. He's a yeah. nice mark and a reasonable kick. Don't let me down, son. <laughs> Left foot kick on 50. Good for distance. Is it touched? I think on the line. I think no it's a goal. Goal umpire says, which means that there's a big chance that the goal umpire was right. So. Lovell has gone to uh, Symes. 
He accepts that, goes long towards half forward. Numbers with uh, Werribee Central's back there, but uh, and they win the footy. Back into the middle of the ground, Lovell on his own. Strong mark, stood his ground. That's fit on. And uh, yep. players couldn't get around him. Handball quickly and uh, goes now to almost a full forward. Players pushing, shoving. Oh, now the umpire has blown the whistle. The umpire who didn't help the goal umpire a moment ago has uh, decreed the free kick is there. And uh, the opportunity for goal number three to Tyron Montebruno. Not a bad looking kick off the boot. The goal umpire goes across, has a good look at it. That is the uh, third goal. And uh, very late in this third quarter, the wind's as strong as it will. Although you look at the northern end, those trees are blowing pretty strongly, aren't they? Yeah, in the last quarter, with the wind, get it and kick it. Symes gets it down. Phil Jones does his own roving work. Gives it away to Sean Murphy, the Irishman. Terrible kick. Needs to go back and play garlic footy. Fantella. He gets across a centre wing. Picks it up. Gets some support as well. Lima picks it up on his bootstraps. Kicks it around the corner. Panthers with the numbers if they can be clean here. They get the kick around the corner. They heard the call. Kick over the top was okay from Fletcher. Now they go from 50. Urquhart goes towards full forward. Good mark. Great, mark. great mark and great play. And they run away. Clone and gets it away. Katsamaris takes the mark at defensive 50. Nobody standing the mark. He goes towards the middle. Out coming out. Brady. Oh, nearly took the mark too. Good roving front and centre. Was okay. McNichol gets it around the corner. Towards centre half forward again. Uh, takes the Montebruno. Couldn't take it. Popovsky. The two number 18. Popovsky, kick off the ground defensively, goes towards the boundary line, still in though, in play, and then Phipps, does he kick, he tried to kick it off the ground and keep it in, he couldn't. Phil Jones comes down to do the ruck work against Symes, short throw in, Symes gets it away, oh the first one ripped off the football and dropping it, said the umpire. I, I, I thought you really had to have prior opportunity for that to happen. So Jones gets the free kick, goes towards the lead, Popovsky, oh mark. good mark. Yeah, by Nathan Lovell. This one, the right forward pocket, southern end of the ground. Breeze behind you. And he's not a bad kick for a big man. And he's a very good kick for he's a big man because well, he's, he's put it through. It. He's missed it. Oh. Five and a half minutes played. Short chip in for Bell Pastel. Finds the overall. He now... Uh, oh, down the ground. Whacked down down the ground. The footy and the uh, Rosenwig. That was just a bit ordinary. As the free kick is down ground to Baird. Baird goes out wide. Bell Post Hill now looking to uh, control the footy. 26 minutes gone in the quarter. Can they get another score before three got a time? They're certainly trying to as Fantella takes it. On centre wing. He comes in board, finds Moreland. They're now going to chip it around and see if they can find a way in. As uh, they chip wide again, two Bell Post players out there. Luckily they spoke. One takes the mark, the other is uh, going. Uh, Page, I think it was, he's heading for... The spot there, they've uh, gone to Lewis. It is uh, very much stop start at the minute. Lewis now to Fursland. Fursland takes the mark. They've got to half forward flank Bell Post. Now the long kick. I think Tar's back on the ground, but he's nowhere near the contest at the moment. The ball uh, whacked off the top of the pack in defence for Werribee Centre. Quarter, three goals to two. So not a lot of time yet to go in the quarter, I'd imagine. However... Ball comes in, Tar does the ruck work, down to Lewis, gets it to pay, dropping the footy, umpire was on the blind side of the pack, didn't pay it, now a kick off the ground, unbelievable, who is that, the bell post hill, play. was it Baird, Baird again? Yep. Unbelievable, Anthony Baird kicks it off the ground, through the middle of the goals, and it is goal number 11 for Bell Post Hill. 11 goals, 672 lead. But this little bit more cohesion. What, what do they say? They're not in sync. Yeah, let, let, let's get it consistent. Yeah. Symes gets it down. Bray couldn't take it with him in the middle. Bell Post Hill charged through the middle. Lose the football though. And uh, handball came back and picked oh. up and uh, slung. There was Baylor Buckley. And he will get the free kick. For a hold as he got rid of the football kick over the top. Oh, oh great play oh, nice. by Chris Morland. Great stretch at the back end of the centre square. He takes the mark one handed and just settles the play down again. Goes to the outer side. Long kick coming back from half back to Lima. Great kick. Yeah, Held it up. Yeah. The forward didn't move. Yeah, didn't move. Created the space for Lima. Then he gets it onto Page. 60 out from goal. Close to the boundary again. Drives it long towards Pizzano with the sit. Tar also there and Addy. Comes at the front up. Pies found over the shoulder. Where be Central's? We'll take the free kick and we'll switch the play quickly. And they come to the uh, to the uh, grandstand side looking for Cornish. Takes the mark. Phipps gives him a lead. The coach goes out in front. Takes the mark at half back. 
Not much to kick to now, though. Bell Post Hill flooded back nicely. He has to go to Bridie, who's had a good third turn. Punched away first. One's got the job on him now. Lima chips the ball back. Uh, sorry, Symes chips oh, the ball back on board. He dug the boots in, Thursland. And Baird has taken the mark. On centre wing, chips the ball nicely towards Urquhart. Turns around. Sees what's in front of him. At his one. Car's there as well. He gives it towards Tar. Great kick. Oh, oh great mark. Beautiful mark. Great hands. Beautiful mark. Justin Tar. And uh, was under heaps of pressure there from Sean Simmons and has taken the mark and will shoot from 50 out, side angle. I've got to say, probably hasn't had the best of days so far, but uh, that was excellent. He hasn't had the best of days, but he's always looked a bit dangerous. He's brought the ball to ground for the little blokes too, and I'll tell you what. And he gives it away by hand to Chris Morland, Ooh. and Morland has just missed the far side. So two goals, two for him. And they go to 11-7-73, Bell Post Hill. They lead Werribee Central's 9-7-61. Last quarter, you'd think Bell Post had settled for that, Grubby. Oh, they'd settled for it right at this minute. Yeah, they've played a magnificent quarter of football. So Knight brings the ball in and uh, marked inside defensive 50 for Werribee. The kick is uh, not that good. It's gone to centre wing. The uh, leading in the race for, for the footy is Clonan. Uh, looks to be struggling for fitness a bit. He was struggling to get to the footy there. Does get it to half forward. And the mark taken by that Patterson, is Bridie. it? Bridie. Bridie. Yep. As uh, he goes long to full forward from behind, Popovsky can't reach the footy. Uh, looks like Monte Bruno struggling for pace a little bit now. Things are looking as uh, boundary umpire retrieves the footy. 31 minutes gone in the quarter. The ball deep in the attacking area for Werribee Central. The goal here would be fantastic for them, but uh, maybe not to be. The ball's cleared. A long kick out of defence is going to go over the boundary line. But uh, stranger things have happened as we see Justin Tarr doing the ruck work this time against Jones. Ball tapped down. It's uh, Balpo still at ground level. Goes towards the uh, middle of the ground. Good uh, defensive work there from the Werribee side. Sees them take possession again. Backward of centre. Now towards half forward. All players have got to run hard. Popovsky's running pretty hard. He, uh, in fact, it was Lima. Comes back, grabs a footy. He's immediately tackled. Gets it clear. Monte Bruno goes towards uh, full fo uh, the full forward position. Players over running the footy. Now it comes out. Belpo still with numbers there. Lima attacks the footy. Does well. Goes out wide. Now they can they break it away just before three-quarter time. Belpo still. They've got it on centre wing. But uh, no, they slow it down. Go forward. They found, uh, that looks like Lentini back on the ground. Hey, what young, Clonan's a long, long way from home, are you? Mm. Yes, and uh, is it Baird has taken the mark again. Inside forward 50, umpire almost called play on there. Now he does, as Baird goes towards full forward. A mark here is what's required. Oh, and <laughs> oh he's made a push. Oh, <laughs> well, that was lucky. <laughs> Jones goes out wide looking for Phipps. Oh, sat and waited for it. Morland did, not he got it. 60 out from goal, measures the pass, and coming out and taking the mark is Urquhart. Still 50 out, gives it away by hand to Page. 55 out, he just measures the pass, run in and kick the goal. Fantella! Oh, 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 well, it didn't matter. Oh, 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 oh. save. <laughs> Great save on the line and no score. Would it have counted? I don't know. <laughs> We might have had to go to the replay. Don't have to worry about that because Bell Post till at three-quarter time. They are 11 7 73 <laughs> in that quarter. The uh, Centurions kicked two goals, uh, two, and it was four goals, four for Bell Post. Werribee has Pretty gone all the way. He's gone right back to full back. Bell Post till 11 7 73. Lead Werribee Central's 9 7 61. It'll be... Jones and Symes. Jones gets it down. Chug kicks around the corner and high. And called to play on. Symes goes up again. Jones is in there and gets it away with a right foot kick towards half, centre half forward. Oh, standing his ground, taking the mark. Popovsky, David. Good mark too. Just inside defensive 50 for the Panthers. Repels the attack for Werribee. Called to play on. Goes to the outer side. Pisano pushes Clonan past the football. Holds it up. Wheels back around. Nowhere to go. Handballs it back. Off a standing start. Limer under pressure. Left foot kick around the corner. Towards the centre wing. No mark taken. Deliberate. And it's away. And, the go and, the, and, uh, and it wasn't one of the kids. It was one of the more experienced umpires. <laughs> Fano, <laughs> was it? <laughs> Boundary throw in. You said that on me. Boundary <laughs> throw in. Jones goes up. Gets to the front of the pack. Ball spills free again. And he'll hit by 12 points. Early stage of the final term. Thrown in now. Symes. Jones gets it down to the side of the pack, tries to do his own roving work. 
Katsamanis in there, fighting hard for it. And over the shoulder, said the umpire. So Werribee Central. So Cornish now, down the line, towards centre wing. Over the head of Clonan. Also over there was McNichol. That's off hands, and we'll have a boundary throw in. Whoa. East, East Geelong 7-13, trailing North Geelong 10-9. Winchell C, 8 goals, 7. Now trailing Corio 9-11. And Geelong West Sporting Club 3-4. Trail Anarchy 9 goals 9. Thompson Belmont Lions still playing. So from the ruck contest, still on centre wing on the outer side. Page tries to tap it on in front of him. He gets some support. And handball comes back from Fantella to Lima. Back to Fantella. Handball over the top is OK. The umpire's found a free kick. A half back. Probably disadvantage. Yeah, that's they're right. away. <laughs> they're gone. So Lima now. Halfback flank. Drives it long up the line towards half forward. Over the head of Tar at the back. Fletcher off hands though. And it's going to be another boundary throw in. Half forward on the other side. Bell post in a little attack. 11 7 73, 9 7 61. Yeah. Werribee Centrals. You're right there, Eric. They set up. They were setting up for where they had the ball. Yeah. And then, of course, when it went back, they had to go back again. E exactly right. Exactly right. And uh, I just noticed you, you watched the finer points of the game. Uh, a couple of Werribee players in that contest after it had finished signifying to the umpire that uh, maybe it was a free kick to uh, to them. So, ball out of bounds once again. Half forward flank. For uh, boundary throw in for Jones and for, well, Tars down there and also Symes. Symes gets it down. Free kick over the shoulder, said the umpire. Advantage paid. Don't know whether there's much advantage there. The umpire's oh, stuffed right, that up. They anyway, when he blew the whistle. <coughs> Werribee Central's get, get it long. Towards Lima, out off his hands, and it'd be another bounce. Goals 10. Oh, Good game there. Seat. So the ball now, out of bounds, true centre wing, out of side here at Myers Reserve. Has uh, ball thrown in. The uh, ball in dispute. Gee, the players are, uh, I think, as they to where it was a moment ago. Ball comes in. The uh, big fellow there in uh, Jones used his body to uh, get his opponent out of the footy. Now there's a whistle on play. It's the free kicks going to Belpost Hill. The player underneath was the Werribee player. Yeah. So it's uh, Moreland long into the full forward position. Tar with Jason. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> anyway, the ball half forward flank. Ball thrown in by the boundary umpire. Tar doing the ruck work. His uh, bulk uh, can't get shifted now. It's uh, again stacks on the mill. Comes out of the back of the pack. <clears throat> First onto the ball is Chug. Kicks it toward now. There's down a the whistle ground. down. Is it no, down the no, ground? No. No, I can't. No, it's, no, down, it's, it's bringing it's, the ball back. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, I think that's the right one because it wasn't late. No, it was before the ball was yeah, kicked. It but, wasn't but late. He pointed it the right way. way oh, he did. Yeah, he me. did. Yeah, he did. He's done that a couple of times. But so he it's gets back it right. in, there, in the hands of Michael Knight, who has the free kick. He's on half back flank for uh, Werribee. He chips it short, a long lead out there, but uh, the kick is a little wide. Not good. We have had no score whatsoever, so it's uh, pretty negative. As uh, Addy, I think, copped a whack across the head in that contest, and that wasn't very impressed. However, it go, goes on as the ball now gets towards half forward for uh, the uh, Werribee side. Now Bell Post goes to Fletcher, goes out wide, but he's kicked it straight to the opposition kick. in Jones. and. Uh, you're right, Grubby. A disgraceful kick under no pressure. And uh, maybe that's the pressure of the last quarter in a big, tough game because uh, players are making pretty basic mistakes here. As there's a great mark no in defence there. for... Uh, it's uh, Symes. Symes. Yep. Takes a great mark in defence for uh, the Belpost Hill side. Now he changes the tack, goes to Baird. Baird's in the corridor, middle of the ground. Uh, will they switch the play? I don't think they will. As uh, now he's called to play on, go straight down the corridor, and that's where you need to. Oh, that's you a can't leave blocks there. That was uh, Addy. Addy chips it long to full forward. Oh, badly mistimed there by Morland, oh. but his recovery was magnificent. Came back in the foot, he hooked it on the left foot, and has kicked the first goal of the final quarter. And that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh, there's about six others here in the middle. Oh. Symes. Both sides. Yeah. There's, there's players yeah. here from both sides who. Uh, Excellent. Symes gets it down in the middle. Bray gets it away. Chug left it behind. Pushed off the ball, but got a kick away towards 50. Keeps following it up to the skip. Gets it over the top. Off a step. Monte Bruno ran back into trouble. Wrapped up. Umpire said, tack. Throws it up now. Tap to the side of the pack. He's found a oh, hole. found a free kick to wherever he's central, Brad, Brad Martin. So Martin now. 
inside defensive 50. Chips it over the top. You're right, Grubby. That's exactly what you're saying a moment ago. The man loose in the corridor. Yeah, you Mac can't leave him there. McNamara it is. Takes a bounce, then goes towards half forward. Holes fine. Red to play better over the back. Might still get this. Moreland to run onto as well. Leach is there. More holes fine. Picks it up. Handballs it back to Basley. Off a step. Oh, look at that discipline. That's cool. Oh, oh, oh Lantini. Not 10. He, uh, he, took, he took the mark. <laughs> took the boot out when he knew he dropped it. It was yeah. pretty classical was in the finish. <laughs> yeah. So Lantini comes in, kicks through it, kicks the goal. So Matt Lantini kicks his first. Really stopped to a walk now. So in the middle, both Ruckman uh, get hands to the footy, but it's uh, at ground level that Belpost Hill now come away with it. It was kicked out by Lewis out wide. Can't handle it too, too well, Fursland, but he gets a handball forward to Page. Page, a lovely looking control kick. Moreland leads and hits him on the chest. And that was really training drill stuff, wasn't it? Been the story of the day. Whoever's got the clearance yep. looks the better side at the time. So Chris Moreland, he's kicked one of the two in this final quarter. Difficult angle and moves in. He's gone, oh, hit the uh, the far post. So only a behind to Chris Moreland. That might be a, a crucial behind. 13 goals, 886. Lead Werribee Central's 9 7 61. Smith's Holden Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard, 11 and a half minutes gone. Lead straight up the ground looking for Clonan. Doesn't sit for him. He goes in and gets it. Simmons is kicked off the ground. <clears throat> Goes out towards the big fella Jones, picks it up at half back, wheels back in board, handball was okay. They shipped it out to McNichol, goes that, oh. but uh, Brad Martin stands there and just goes, no, I'll take that, Mark. And he just uh, ran across in front, took the grab in between half back and centre wing. Call to play on now, it goes down the line, and Jones over the back, did well, Addy, read it better, played on quickly. Goes from half forward, long kick towards full forward, Moreland, Leach got the job on him now. At the back of the pack, McGuinness, and it runs through. 61. Blood Suzuki, Smith Holden, final quarter scoreboard, 12 and a half minutes played. So Leach kicks in uh, toward the western side, lovely kick, and uh, found his teammate in Clonan. He'll go to Clonan every time. Will he? Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty handy player, Clonan, strong. He's kicked to the middle of the ground, unfortunately, straight in the arms of Joel Page. Takes them out. Ooh, That's 50. Umpire, um, that is 50 if it's uh, not play on. Exactly right, and uh, bad call by the umpire. However, Belpo still retained control of the footy. Page, he's kicked it out. Oh, I don't know about that one, but, uh, yeah, Brad Martin's run forward. Well telegraphed, but uh, everyone saw it but the Werribee Central's defenders. So now Martin comes back across the middle of the ground again. Back to Page. It's uh, almost keeping off at the moment, and it's certainly using up time for the Werribee side. The ball now, oh, That's a again. beautiful kick. Lovely lead from Moreland and uh, a control kick by Joel Page. And uh, a minute last time. Can he rectify it this time? Chris Moore, three to his name already, three goals, three. Moves in. Fair chance he won't. He's heading toward the boundary and uh, he's hooked it again. He seems to hook across his body. Uh, mark taken by Werribee Centrals and by Simmons. Nobody uh, ever stood and watched. The umpire didn't blow the whistle and uh, he played on. And the ball is now half back flank. Oh, that's surely that's a free in kick back. in the back. Yeah, he's, to got it. he's got it. Uh, from here, yeah. he's going to get that one. Is that Lyman right there? Oh, Symes. Symes. Yep. Yeah. He's done very well as the day's gone on. Symes, he's kicking, perhaps lose a bit to be decided. And uh, he picked out the defensive uh, centre-half back, and he's oh, got it back again. Geez. Now he's uh, thought the better player, not kick it, handball it. That's what he's done, and uh, here you see uh, oh. probably uh, again... Play the siren. <laughs> yeah, it's done. The mis mistakes for coming in very quickly now as, as Moreland. Mm. Has the footy, gets tackled high, umpire says play on. Now uh, it's a comedy of errors at the moment. There's handball, there's mistakes. Finally comes to McNamara. He gives it to uh, Holzfind, who takes the chest marker. I'll tell you what, he's not mad, mad keen on uh, having a shot at goal, David Holzfind. He's kicked it back to uh, was it Caleb Basley. No, Lentini. No doubt about that. Back to the middle, Jones, Symes. Symes gets it down, road by Bray through the middle, does well, breaks free from Lewis, gets a tumbling punt towards half forward, inside 50. First time they've been inside 50 for the quarter. Yeah, yeah. coming they've back. they've got Lovell down there, wasting him really. Popovsky gets it back towards Lima, kick off the ground. And st still close to the boundary line, Murphy gets it back to the top of the square, Rosenwig goes up, gets a high tackle, yeah. should get a free kick. And will do so. Craig Rosenwick. And, and I think Rosenwick might win. One goal, three. Two goals, three now. He's put it through in the middle for him. 
And the first score of the final term for Werribee Central's 10-7. They run out of gas for the next 10 minutes. They can lose by seven or eight goals. And I don't oh. think they deserve that. No, they do not. It's been too good a game for that. As the ball comes down, and this time it came into the arms of Jones doing the roving. Goes towards half forward. At ground level, even Lima. Lima's going up and down the one spot for Belpo still now, but he does get the footy. Kicks it back towards centre wing. McKnight, long way up the ground. He uh, goes over his head. Lentini pushes him in the oh, back. Oh, he stays it, did he? Plays on quickly with the handball. Comes back towards half forward. Oh, Symes. Gee whiz, <laughs> the further the game goes, the better he's got. Well, they've got love Great. in the forward line. Yeah, yeah. You so, know? So Symes has taken the defensive mark. Oh, I don't know about that. He's kicked it to a two-on-one. Overall, we'll have to be good here. And he's not good enough because the ball has turned over. And... It's feathering. That's probably Symes' uh, biggest problem, his uh, decision-making with his kicking. And now Werribee Central. The handball has come to Smith, and he has a bounce, goes towards full forward. Again, one on two. That's what they wanted. Magnificent mark by Lovell. Has, no, hang on, the no, plays against him. <laughs> Pushing oh, the we're back. going back to the interlude, but they did to him last year in the interlude. <laughs> so it's a free kick, Belpo still. Umpire has uh, paid the mark out in the pocket. Oh, gee, Sean Lewis put under the pump there. Didn't know players were coming behind him. He does well. Gets the ball to Martin. Martin, a little chip pass. He's short on the mark as well. They're getting tired now. There's some mistakes. Sean Lewis accepts a handball, runs through the centre. Holes fine. Good position. Doesn't take the mark. He's tied. Oh, back. oh that's a terrible tackle. <laughs> I think he's just and fallen. I, I just think it's tied, Scrubby. Yeah, I, I he's really... just fallen straight on top of him. Well, well Holsey was that tight he fell on the footy and the Werribee defender fell on, fell top, on of top of him. So he chips the ball forward and uh, now things are... Uh, so is it Fantella that's uh, got the mark this Lentini, time? Lentini, I think, again. Jeez, he's been good in this last quarter. Yeah. Well, he's been off for a while. Perhaps he's still fresh and the others are getting a bit tired. But. Well, you notice Hull's fine. He was that tired he fell on the ball, as we said. But when he got up, he still had the awareness <laughs> to, to, to put it where he needed to put it. So, Lantini moves in, giving it absolutely all that he's got. And I'll tell you what, it's nearly good enough because he's kicked his second for the court. Morton goes up. The hold, said the umpire. And advantage paid, so Symes takes it. I think it was for Pisano oh, coming out and taking the mark was a base leap and he'll have a set shot for goal at 50. If he's a base leap, he will he would have a shot. And uh, did it pretty early, put the uh, mouth guard into the short straight oh, away okay. when he took didn't, the mark. So that. <laughs> <laughs> there was no way he was going to pass the footy. Yeah. So he comes in, he's kicked two goals one this afternoon. He still kicked two goals one. Has it come back? No, he's kicked two goals two. Just missed to the far side. Through four or one behind. So they go to 14, uh, 15, 10, 100, Bell Post Hill. And they lead Werribee yeah. Central's 10, 7, 67. Smith Holden, Blood Suzuki, final quarter scoreboard. 21 minutes played. So David Leach kicked the ball to himself. Long kick uh, into play. Finds a teammate, halfback flank. They go long. Oh, Lima attacks the footy. Drops it, however. Play on to the umpire. Now there's another fierce tackle. Stacks on the mill. Watch the umpire. He's going to call for a ball up. So on true centre wing, the ball will be put in there. Nearly 21 and a half minutes gone. And the uh, players now, they've done a great job for uh, almost four quarters here today. Very high quality game. And uh, the tiredness has set in because stacks on the mill again. The bloke who's doing most work at the moment would be the umpire, throwing it up in the throwing air. Throwing it up in the air, you're right there. So, up it goes. Uh, Werribee get the tap forward. Sean Lewis runs hard at the footy, and uh, all he does is put it over the boundary line to bring the boundary umpire into play, so that uh, take a bit of pressure off the players for a few seconds. Certainly the, uh, the sting out of the game as a contest has probably gone, but it's been a great game first up for the season, and... Uh, Everybody, I think, that's here has thoroughly enjoyed us. Uh, Sean Lewis, a long handball, back to the middle of the ground. Picked up there for Werribee. Going forward, uh, comes back. There's a lot of tiredness now as the long kick into full forward. Numbers there with uh, Belpo still, but that's in the 50, middle of the pack. It is uh, Craig Rosenweg who put the big hands up in between two defenders. Very well. Yeah, he was. He's, he's a lot fitter than last year, and I think he's still a bit away to go. 
So he's uh, had the shot for a goal from 40. Unfortunately, he hasn't had the kicking boots on today. That's two goals for to Rosenwig. And uh, early on, if they'd have been goals, it would have been uh, a much closer game. 10 8, Werribee. Trail Bell Post still 15 10. Smith's holding scoreboard as the balls come quickly into play. It's in the hands of. Uh, it was the holes find at centre half back. He's gone wide again, and uh, Brad Martin another little chip, and uh, now they can chip it around Bell Post Hill because they uh, only need to waste time. It's gone back to Martin. It's still just outside uh, defensive 50. Lima calling for it in the middle. He'll decide to go longer. And Martin there goes uh, to half forward, looking for almost found Bray for Werribee, but the ball uh, goes inside forward 50 now, and uh, the ball is moving faster than any of the players. I think they're pretty tired. Simmons caught with a magnificent tackle on that occasion. Now, Belpo still got players everywhere. The kick comes to bed. Some very, very tired <coughs> defend 40 metres out. Not a great deal of angle to speak of. And uh, as I say, there'll be a lot of players hoping the siren's not far away. <coughs> Baird now. Solid kick, unfortunately not on the line either. Two goals, two off his boot. 15-11-101, Bell Post Hill. 10-8-68. Leach, good kick in again. 65 metres to the top of the uh, centre square. Off hands at the back. Handball came free. And they could run now. Over the top, McNichol. Oh, and there's the siren. Oh, jeez. 24 minutes. 24 minutes. Oh, 25 I think they've taken pity on it. I was going to say. They've taken pity on it. I think the timekeepers were a bit tired too.